as members of the public, as staff members, and as council members, just to say thank you to you for your dedicated service, for your tireless energy, for the dignified and respectful way you've treated everyone yes. who has come through this building. and back, yes. which was a tough time, uh, and also for the difficult moments in this chamber, uh, where there have been moments of violence, moments of disruption, moments of confusion, etc., where you've really been a very, very steady voice and steady, helpful hand. Uh, I also want to give a particular shout out to Elias' wife, who's always been particularly encouraging of me and sending me little uh, encouragements here and there, a big supporter of all of our human rights efforts. So, Elias, I don't know what we're going to do without you, but we just, I think, on behalf of all of us, want to say congratulations. And if I can ask the clerk to read the proclamation, and you know it's killing Elias that he's not getting to scream, be quiet, roll call, turn your cell phone off. These duties encompass a unique combination of law enforcement protocol and administrative responsibilities. Sergeant at Arms Elias Cabrera, a resident of Staten Island for the last 15 years. Yay! Has excelled in this capacity since the day he began. Originally from the Bronx. <laughs> April 12, 1993. And upon his retirement, it is fitting that we publicly pay tribute to the stellar service. And whereas born in the Dominican Republic, Elias came to New York City at the age of 11. When he was still a young man himself, he worked as a youth director for the Transfiguration Youth Center in Brooklyn, providing counseling and changing the <laughs> for many actress teens. Soon, however, his own life was dramatically interrupted by the war in Vietnam. And whereas drafted into the military, Elias served from 1972 to 1975 with the U.S. Army Signal Corps as a specialist fifth class, performing advanced instrument repair and calibration, and was stationed not in Southeast Asia, but in Germany. When he completed his service to our nation, he returned to New York where destiny altered his life once again, this time when he fell in love with Doris. Today, Elias and Doris have been happily married for 36 years Yay! of the of Alexander, who is attending college in New Jersey. Yeah. And whereas while Elias earned his undergraduate degree from the City College of New York and his MBA from Adelphi University, he also worked for 15 years at Morale Electronic Systems in the Bronx, a major player in the global aerospace and defense industry. In the recession of the early 1990s, led to many layoffs, including his own. Council member Lucy Cruz of the 18th District alerted him to the sergeant at arms position that he has fulfilled with dignity and respect for the last 20 years. And whereas upon Elias' retirement, the council commends him for his excellent work and we wish him continued happiness in the years ahead. Now therefore be it known that the council of the city of New York gratefully honors Elias Cabrera for his outstanding service to the council and to the community at large. Christine C. Quinn, speaker for the entire council. Vincent M. Ignizio, council member of 51st District, Staten Island. Yay! When I first came here 20 years ago, I was a little uh, leery. <laughs> and I was leery because of the reputations that politicians have. But you know what? I was mistaken, and I was proven wrong, and by, by, for a few exceptions. <laughs> A group of people that I've met that are honorable, people that I care for the communities they serve, and they have been inspiring to me. They have been a great example of what people can do when they put their minds together to help others. Okay? There was uh, a learning experience that I like to relate, and that's the art of the spin. I didn't know what that was. 
Yeah. But one time in the lounge, uh, Councilmember Dwayne at that time <laughs> got into it with Councilmember Ruiz about Ruiz calling a commissioner from the public from the housing department that he was un pato. <laughs> so Dwayne was very upset and uh, they went at it. He told Ruiz he was a homophobic. And Ruiz says, I didn't call him a pato. I call him a duck. Right? Well, I, a duck <laughs> I said, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs>